Hey guys, it's Radia, and today I am back with a, another video. Today's video is going to be a revision, preparing for exams kind of a video. And I have all the stuff here, right next to me. So, yeah, let's get on with the video. So, first thing first, when you prepare for a revision, like... Don't do it like the day after the exams, just like start like way, way before your exam. Like as soon as your teachers tell you, tell you like you got an exam, like even if it's like a month later or something. Uh, yeah, start then because that's better. And if they ever got you, just say that you started on the day that they told you and they can't ever go at you. So yeah, I guess first thing, if you go into like year 11 next year or even if you're just in year 11 get a planner because you will write all the stuff like uh or like the exams day uh homework things that you need to get done just to like remember you remind you you know like also like college interviews even if you have like one two in like one week or two in two different types of weeks and you might forget and just do it and plus look back to it as well just like look back to it also another thing is um if you're revising for like english and you like didn't read the book go to like a website so there's one website called spark notes that is actually really useful because it gives you like analysis of, of any book that you're reading so yeah that's kind of like useful also like put any like key points or more important bits of the book always put like notes you know as you see i did this for like three of my books i am reading macbeth blood brothers and uh jekyll and hyde and so yeah i have like little note thing there as you see so yeah also create like flashcards i mean you probably see this and many people on youtube or just in school really you see this a lot i bought this for like three quid it's a box where you keep all your revision notes and like yeah and like decorate it color color it or something i don't know just this is like my revision stuff i mean this is useful it actually is just have to like try and remember it. i also have like a little pencil case that i take for when i have exams and i feel like this is kind of useful so you got one for like your everyday normal lessons and then you have one that's with stuff that's special especially for exams because like let's say you forgot like your highlights or something i don't know like they ran out on your other pencil case you have this one for exams or this type of thing or or maybe you just like to use i don't know i just, I just like having one for exams just for exams so yeah another thing this is another flashcard thing it's from Asda, I think. It has like it's like this. This was like my catering one. Really useful. Another thing is like you really should buy this. And there's like revision books. Like I have this one's maths. This one's Spanish. This one is ICT. So yeah, I even put notes and everything. And this one. I have more, but I just took like a few, for example. And this is religious studies. So yeah. So they're they're from different company. This these ones. Oh, these ones are from Edexcel. So they're useful for GSCs as well. 
I'll I'll try I'll try and remember to link the websites to buy them if you want to. But yeah, most of them I bought them in school. If the school are selling them, obviously they're gonna try and sell them cheaper because school gets like a few percentage off or whatever. Like this, the school gets discount, so you better buy it in school than buy it online. But if you school doesn't sell it, then you I'll link it below so you can buy it for yourself. This one is a CGP revision books. I have more of these over there, but yeah, these are like the revision stuff. My school did this, and I thought it was a great way to show because it could help you. And they did like a booklet thing. It's a revision planning, so they gave me at the start of year eleven, and it's like to write stuff in it, like subjects, what paper we doing, the date and stuff, comments about it, about what I need to like learn. And then it has this page which is a revision hints list. So I have to write like the paper, the exam paper, what, like if it's, I don't know. And then the subject that I'm revising for, three, top three targets topic, next five target topics, and then to like write, and what's the problem, what can I not like do. And then I have like a weekly revision, uh, timetable as well but i haven't used it yet but i'm gonna use it soon because i'm using like other stuff but yeah always ask your teachers for uh past papers i got some for to, to show as an example i have like this it's like a maths one um they are useful and it's good to practice and then you can give it to the teachers and ask them to mark it and come and get it later and then you'll see which one you did right, which one you did wrong, which one you, you need to practice a bit more. Then I, I got this like little folder thing to put in um, like all the, my posters, I have like posters in here because I, I see better and I learn better with posters so I normally put it out in that wall over there. But then, like, when I don't need them anymore, and so I don't have to put it in the bin, I keep it in this just in case I'm going to, like, go back and revise again. Because in year 11, you do revise the same thing again and again, especially if it's science. I heard that this year they're changing. Uh, partly start, when you're starting in year 9, you're going to start learning, like, other stuff, and you're going to have to take additional science. So this year 11 is uh, the last year that doing the old, GCC, GCSEs, sorry. Uh, another thing that my school gave me, which I'm going to show and it's quite useful, is this is a math one. It's a six week revision schedule and it tells you when to do them, which one to see. Um, I'll link down below um, revision uh, useful uh, sources that you can use. That has like GC GCSEs um stuff to learn it or on any subject you got a um, BBC bite size for any subjects you're doing you have maths watch for maths you have by maths you have spark notes for uh oh you have Quizlet as well spark notes for English like when you're learning the the books and stuff. Yeah, I guess that's it. But I'll check on my computer because I have all saved in the folder. And yeah, I, I feel like this is a short video. But um, yeah, that was pretty much what I needed to show you. And yeah, I hope you... One last thing that I want to say. When you're revising, just make sure you have a type of slot like you're listening, you're in the area where it's no noise, where you can concentrate, even if you have like siblings at home, just get your headphones, use it, use the websites that I'll link below, uh, there's one that's called uh, Get Revising, but I'll, I'll link everything below, use past papers, do my maps, revision cards, plan your schedule, revision timetables, all them, do them, because they're great, great, and I, I, I'm I printed this out to help me and tell you stuff. So yeah. <laughs> See ya.